All right, I know in my last video I said it was going to be the Sun Part 2. It's going to be the next one, but I kind of got sidetracked and watched Tucker and Dale vs. Evil for the second time. And I'm like, I'm going to review this one. It's released by Magnet Entertainment. It's an independent film. It's a Canadian film made in Alberta. Uh, it's released December 9, 2010. It was in limbo for a year and a half, so it came out pretty late. It's written and directed by Eli Craig, who also did... I think he's more of an actor who's done like little... He worked on the Netflix film Little Evil, which is, I heard is shit. And uh, Deal of a Lifetime and a few other things. Uh, budget was $5 million. And it actually flopped because of how long it took to go out. It only made $4.7 million. But it has done extremely well because this came out like six years ago or something. DVD sales phenomenal street cost people are constantly streaming and re-watching it there is a sequel and they're doing it the proper way they're taking their time it just took eight years to put out so the next one's going to take probably not an extra two years so yeah but tucker if you haven't heard of this film it's basically these hillbilly friends one of them buys a cabin in the woods which is going to be, make it his home and then there's these teenagers who are teeny or young 20 year olds who are uh on spring break, smoking pot and doing all that. And they realize, um, one of them tells a stupid campfire story. Typical slasher stuff, but this is a horror comedy that's ripping on slashers. So, uh, yeah, so basically it tells a killer hillbilly story. And, um, one of, then they decide to go skinny dipping in the middle of the night. So they go skinny dipping. One of the girls is, like, taking her clothes off and slips and falls off a rock and knocks herself unconscious. The hillbillies are out fishing, and they see her do it, so they pull her in. They try to get their attentions, and the teens assume that the hillbillies killed her. So they basically, it's misconception of, uh, misperception or whatever, of, um, from the thing. So these college students think they're killer hillbillies, and the hillbillies think they're just a suicidal <laughs> pack of 20-year-olds. So it's, uh, the balance is really well done in this because like the wood chipper scene where the guys like runs to stop him and jump, accidentally jumps in the wood chipper and all the other guys all they see is it looks like the guy's throwing him in the wood chipper and then uh yeah where he takes a chance on cuts to the bee's nest and uh runs around like leatherface and people think they're chasing him <laughs> this stuff is awesome this film is done perfectly it was really well written well directed well shot for an independent film and I'm not going to talk about very much of it because I'm giving this a 5 out of 5. You just have to watch it. Trailers link down below. Enough said. Go watch it if you haven't seen it. It's perfect. Um, yeah. Instagram's linked down below too <laughs> um, where I post clips of films I'm going to review in the future. So make sure you follow me there. And there's other weird shit on there too if you're which is interesting. Um, yeah, so uh, like this video. Comment down below if you've seen this. Let me know what you thought. Comment other horror comedies that I should review in the future. I'll try my hardest to get to them. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you like hearing my opinions and hearing about films you probably never heard of. Uh, yeah, so just make sure you subscribe. Yep. And ring that bell if you really want to. But, yeah. But now, I'm going to torture myself and try to sit through all Resident Evil films. Fuck that. I'm going to watch the first three. I'll see you guys in the next review.